It's not the clothes that we wear. It's not the way we do our hair. But it's all about Christ living inside of me. Oh, yeah. True beauty is what you got to see in my life. True beauty is beauty inside. It's not the clothes that we wear. gonna give you the keys or the tips to a successful braid out or my key tip to a successful braid out but before I do that I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip for you naturals whose hair is growing longer and it may touch your clothes when it's in a braid out or a, a twist out or a wash and go and it gets tangled in your necklaces if you like to wear necklaces and it gets tangled the thing to do is to flip your necklace around so that the clip is in the front. See? My necklace. When I usually wear it in the back, I pull out my hair. So anyways, that was just a quick tip. But um, just in case you guys want to just know the tips before you watch me do it or if you're going to fast forward. I got this bag over my hair. I look crazy. So let's get started. The keys to a successful braid out. I'm looking down because I did write them down for you guys. Because my pregnancy brain will have me forget even though I got all my products in front of me. It's to start on freshly washed and conditioned hair. Now I just co-wash with VO5, like one of the cheap conditioners, the natural conditioners, about a dollar and some. Um, because I, I ran out of my good other Aussie moisturizer. So I co-washed. And I detangled in the shower um, thoroughly. Good detangling. And you're going to continue to detangle throughout your braids. As you braid out, if your hair is like a little tangled at the bottom, you will continue to detangle. This is my dimming brush. In the shower, I use a shower comb. That's your best friend. Um, get you an oil. I'm going to coat my hair with some coconut oil. Not too much oil, but oil is good to seal in the moisture. I just did a co-wash. Natural hair dries fast, dries a lot. It tends to get brittle and break. Uh, oil, a good essential oil, will keep the moisture in your hair. And it'll help your ends to not uh, tangle in themselves and not up. So get an oil. You need a moisture hold product. If you can't find both of those in one product, you need two different products. You need something that's going to give you moisture and something that's going to give you hold. Now, this is a conditioner from Aussie, Three Minute Miracle. It gives me moisture and hold, the hold that's good enough for me because I don't want my hair to hold a lot. So I just use this by itself. This is not my gel that I love to use. And if you guys watched my wash and go video, it did leave a white residue when mixed together, but as soon as my hair dried, it wasn't white anymore. So you have to find that product that works for you. I'm not going to use these two together, but remember, if you're out there, use a moisture product and something that will give you a slight hold because you want to hold. So you're going to need that. And I also put a little bit of hemp seed butter in my hair just because my hair loves hemp seed butter. I got this from CamdenGray.com. But I'm just going to be using this and this and this. No gel. Um... Keep your hair wet, keep it detangled. I got my plastic bag on so I don't have to keep spraying my hair down, but I do have water and oil in here. This is just a old heat protecting um, bottle, Beyond the Zone. I just put some water and oil in it. 
to spray my hair down if it gets a little dry, but I also am wearing a plastic bag to keep the moisture in the parts I'm not working with. Um, not too much product. If you overload your hair with lots and lots of product, your braid outs will, they could be frizzy depending on the product you use or weighed down and greasy. Don't go overboard. A little goes a long way with your braid outs. Trust me. Um, let your hair dry completely. I may sit under the dryer for 15 minutes just to set my hair. If you ever had a curl set, roller set, and you sat under the dryer to set your hair, same thing with braid outs. You need to set your hair. If you unravel your braids and they're still wet, you might as well just wear your afro or your hair in its, its natural texture because it's going to frizz up. It's going to be a frizz ball. You have to have your hair completely dry. If you're not going to sit under the dryer, do your braid out on a day that you have nothing to do but wear your braids around the house. Let your braids dry completely. Um, unravel with oily fingers. When you get ready to take down your braids, and I'll show you in this video, and this is part is getting too long, but um, put some culture hands with some oil and take them out so you don't create frizz. Separate lightly and fluff lightly on day one. You want the definition, you want it to last um, throughout the days, however long you're going to keep it. So don't go crazy on day one. Because day two, you can unravel and separate some more. Day three, same thing. You must, um, oh, I pin back my sides when I sleep. I just pin it back. I don't pine up or anything, and then I put my scarf on it. But um, around day two, three, maybe day three, four, or whatever, I'll take my hair, and I'll show you, like I did in my wash and go video. Go check it out. Um, spritz your ends lightly with water. Braid your hair back up. You don't have to have them perfect like you did on day one to set your braids. They don't have to be very neat. But when you braid your hair back up, it's going to stretch your hair out longer and it's going to be really crinkly. So on day one, it may be a short uh, braid out, but when you braid your hair up at night and plait it back up, it's going to get longer and longer and still crinkly. And as the days go on, if you braid at night, they're gonna be it, your braid out is gonna be so beautiful. Trust me, that it works wonders. It makes it. My braid outs are better by day three. Um, yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna get started. <sighs> so I just have the tangled hair and I'm dripping wet, and oof, I'm really, really dripping wet. I'm gonna start up here somewhere with a section.
Okay, I'm down to my last one, guys. So, I'm gonna put the Posse uh, conditioner on it. And this is a conditioner that you rinse out, but I leave my conditioners in sometimes. If I co-wash, I rinse them out. And this is just the hemp seed butter that I'm putting on my ends because my hair loves hemp seed butter. I already applied the coconut oil to this side. It's still nice and detangled. And I kind of want this braid back a little, so I'll plait it backwards. Oh, kind of backwards. Not really. And um, I'll get back on camera and show you how I take them down because that part is very important. And then I'll show you how I keep it up day by day, night by night. So these are the braids. You can stop the video and count them if you want. I just randomly set set pieces. So I'll see you guys tomorrow sometime. Bye. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm all dry. Um, I sat on the dryer last night for about 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes. And this is the result. I'm going to take them out. I got my little mirror here. Um, this one, I kind of plaited it going to the front. So it was on the side. But it's actually going to be towards the back. Which is kind of good because as you see the little hump right there. It's going to create volume. So, I'm going to speed the video up, get my coconut oil, put some all over my fingertips and my hands. So, let's begin. Okay, y'all, I'm back with two left. As you can see, I know it's a big old gap right there, but we'll cover that up. Back with two left. 